from the Scripps Studios. This is 10 News. Hello, I'm Jason Martinez with this 10 News update. Fire investigators believe the Cloverdale fire was intentionally set. Investigators say the arsonist ignited multiple locations in the San Pasqual Valley, scorching 100 acres. This is the third fire in that area in less than three weeks, so investigators are trying to figure out if they're all connected. The Cloverdale fire erupted west of San Diego Zoo Safari Park, shutting down part of the 78 and forcing evacuations. Neighbors in Bonita are gathering to voice their concerns about dangerous traffic there. They say drivers are racing past an elementary school and through their neighborhood to avoid paying that dollar 55 cent toll between the 54 and the 125. They formed a committee to lobby Sandag, the city of Chula Vista and the county for help. They're meeting with Supervisor Greg Cox tonight at the Bonita Library and the Public Utilities Department is hosting public meetings on the North City Pure Water Project. The project aims to purify recycled water so it can become drinking water. This is the first phase of the Pure Water San Diego program. The recycled water would be sent to the Miramar Reservoir before being treated to become drinking water. First phase expected to be done by 2021. The meeting will be held tonight from 5 to 7 at the Public Utilities Department building in Kearney Mesa. Here's Melissa with your forecast. And it's drier today, more humid tomorrow. That monsoon flow return stays with us here for a couple of days. And temperature is also going to be warmer the second half of the week. Along the coast, we're going to stay in the lower, lower 80s for the next several days. Overnight lows still in the 70s. Cooler as far as your overnight lows are concerned in our inland valleys. But you can see those daytime highs starting to creep up into the lower 90s. Up in the mountains here, we're looking at the 80s, the desert 105 today. Thank you very much. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, check out 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app in your app store. For 10 News, I'm Jason Martinez.